Welcome to another UEN Teacher Tip. My name is Val O'Brien, and I want to talk about universal design for learning and an alternative to traditional writing assignments. Universal Design for Learning is an educational framework aimed at creating flexible and inclusive learning environments that can accommodate the diverse needs of all learners. UDL seeks to address the needs of each learner by multiple means of representation, engagement, and expression. This approach recognizes that students differ in how they learn and seeks to remove barriers to learning by offering a variety of options and strategies. Let's talk specifically about multiple means of expression. This principle helps us remember that all students are different and may have different preferences when it comes to demonstrating mastery of their learning. Although traditional written assignments and assessments aren't going anywhere, teachers do have options. Allowing students to verbalize their ideas is another way to demonstrate mastery. Now, I know what you're thinking. There are not enough hours in the school day to allow me the pleasure of listening to each of my students verbalize their learning. That is where Canvas comes in. Students can make videos talking through their ideas right in Canvas. Let me show you how. Let's start by opening up Canvas and taking a look at our modules. You probably already have modules with assignments in them. You can click on an existing assignment to add video options to it, or you can click on the plus button to add a new assignment. I'm gonna click on an existing assignment, and then I'm going to click on edit in the right-hand corner. Now, since this is an existing assignment, you probably already have instructions here. You may want to add a sentence that says, you can submit this assignment in typed format or as an audio or video recording. And then what you do is you come down here to the submission type and there's a pull down menu. I am on the online type of submissions and I have allowed my students to submit a text entry so they can type their responses to this assignment or they can submit a media recording, which is an, a recorded audio or video file. And then I'm gonna come down here and click save. Don't forget to add a rubric that shows students exactly what you're looking for so they can make sure to meet your expectations. Now let's take a look at what the student sees. They see the assignments here, the point value, and the rubric. They will click on start assignment in the top right hand corner. And you can see their options for submitting their assignment right here at the top. They can type in the blank field here, or they can click on media and they can record or upload media that they've previously recorded. So I'm gonna click on the record button and you can see there is a webcam option here or a microphone if they want audio only. And we will click on start recording. It'll count down and then students will make their video and click on finish. Now they gotta scroll down, they can name this video and then click save media. And now you can see their video file right here. They just have to make sure they hit submit assignment. There's a reminder up here to prompt them. So click submit assignment and now you can see that they have submitted the assignment and they can celebrate with confetti. Let's leave the student view and take a look at the teacher view. So we can click on speed grader and speed grader you can see, I can click on my rubric and have it open right here for easy grading. And I can click on their video and watch it right here. And then students will it's quick and easy. The video recorder feature in Canvas is an excellent alternative to traditional writing assignments and can be very helpful for so many of our learners. From our youngest scholars who have limited writing abilities to students who struggle with typing or students who just enjoy verbal communication. Also, this type of assignment can be done on a phone or a tablet anywhere. 
try it out with your students this week. Join us next time for another UEN teacher tip.